Well, hello, folks. Welcome back. Morning to you all. Today is May 29th, 2024. The month is sliding by fast. It's almost over with. So here we have today. Oh, my goodness. What do we have? Well, we have the Chase Bank. Let me show you this. This is crazy. This is in Youngstown, Ohio. And watch this. So I get the, there's this one doesn't have any sound to it. Look at that. Oh, it does. Has a little bit of sound. This is after uh, exploding. Look how deep it is. And you know, I can't understand. They say that uh, that people smell gas, and um, I can't understand how this building is still standing though with this big explosion like this. Um, they said that seven was hurt and one is missing uh, when this was taken. But I'm going to show you something. We've got another one of the videos here in just a moment here. Let me go back to this. Um, yeah, that, that's great. Can you imagine? There was a, um, like a, uh, there was a smoothie bar and all that in there. So let me get this here. This is another view of after it was done i mean after it exploded so and i don't think this one has any but um look how crazy this is i mean it you would think as much as a, an explosion um that that did you know that this building would be would come down but um well it's standing it's got some sturdy uh uh, underpending and all, but uh, that's crazy. Wow, 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 wow. Um, let me go back to this. I want to show you something. And uh, let's see, we'll do this. I have the uh, the Google Map on here of the building. Okay, and like I said, this is in Youngstown, Ohio. And um, this is the building here. And um, let me go down to the street view here so you can kind of see this, um, kind of see what it is here. So it took out pretty much the whole bottom part of this building, whatever it was. Now, they, a lot of people are saying that they had smelt gas, but um, here, yeah, it's got a, I think there's a, like a smoothie or a coffee shop. In there and of course this is the chase bank in there but boy this thing but i, I want to show you something else i spotted back here um and maybe you can maybe you guys know what this is but is this hang on a second get up a little bit closer here is this gas lines or is i, I think it is right um i mean it looks like gas lines now that's a lot of, that's a lot of gas lines i don't know if you can get that i don't know what's going on there <laughs> um but i don't think that would no i no, that's not power that's definitely looks like gas lines so see now i'm not sure when this photo was taken from google but there's a smoothie bar here but um uh, that i thought that was pretty interesting there to see that but um yeah this the whole bottom so that they're thinking that it's gas but um as the time that i'm making this video i don't know so uh but uh i think i have a, another video yeah i do hold on just a minute let me this is uh a news team so town youngstown blasting the front of the realty building sending several people to the hospital this is security video which shows the blast happening around 245 at right crazy. at the corner of market street and east federal street that's wrong. and here's a that's look wrong. at the extent of the damage from the sky this is from our 21 news drone showing just the mass amount of crews out there handling the aftermath and you can see just how much debris is lining the sidewalk near federal yeah. square 
Thank you for staying with us tonight on 21 News as we continue to work to get answers on what exactly happened. Let's get right to our team coverage from the scene. We have Gina Cadigan and Sydney Canty in downtown Youngstown. We begin with Sydney. What do we know so far, Sydney? Well, Madison, not too long ago, we just learned some new information from Fire Chief Barry Finley, who says six people were taken to the hospital. We don't know the extent of their injuries, but also, Madison, there's another person that is missing, and he worked in the building. Authorities don't know if he was inside of the building at the time of the explosion, but his co-workers are saying he was either in the break room or in his office. Now, the basement of this building is flooded, so firefighters are trying to get in there and get the power shut off so that they can get down into that basement and look for him. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that's wild. I gotta stop saying crazy. Oh my god, uh, but these stories are just so wild. Um, yeah. Um, hope they can find. Downtown Youngstown will be completely closed off due wow. to the uh, potential for a structural collapse. A structural collapse. And again, just to recap what happened here, this was a, a gas explosion that completely blew out the first floor of the Realty Building. Right. Fire Chief Barry Finley praised first responders, saying they were on it immediately. Take a listen. They did an outstanding job. Can you job. tell us about it? They did. No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't here. But when I got here, they were still bringing. They were still uh, having people come out, and the ambulance crew. They were phenomenal. They were here on time, and they got people treated. Crazy. Wow. Now, the city did call in a structural engineer to assess the integrity of the building. I did try to get really close up to see if I could talk to Fire Chief Finley and get him to come on and even talk to us live here about any more updates that he might have. But I was pushed back saying that I was in the collapse zone. Now, this does not mean that the building is going to collapse. They just don't know what's going to happen. And so they're trying to keep everybody safe. This is a developing story. Firefighters are still in and out of the building even as we speak. So stay with 21 News on air and online for the latest information so that we can get that to you for now in downtown Youngstown with more local news I'm Sydney Canty yeah you know you would think they're definitely gonna have to bring that building down so um, but yeah that's quite something so our next story uh, next thing that I call and you know I, I've been talking about all the tornado activity um, let me do this uh, choo -choo. Um, yeah the um, the winds, you know, Dallas, um, or shoot, um, I mean, Texas itself, they have gotten so many crazy tornadoes here lately. So I thought I'd bring this down to uh, Dallas. This is the uh, International Airport at uh, Dallas Fort Worth. And um, so, um, huge airport right here as you can see and uh, I've never been to this airport uh, I've been with to it on um, Microsoft uh, airplane <laughs> uh, or flight sim I'm sorry but um, yes yeah, huge huge but let me show you uh, let me go back to this and get my try to find my video here of this yes look at this I, ch I was checking this out um, look at the and there's I don't think there's any but this is at Dallas Fort Worth, and this is the wind blowing this plane just like wow. And I, I'm wondering, do they? I mean, does these airplanes do they not have? Because see, you can see the bottom wheel; it's just turning. Um, so I, I would think, do they not have brakes? On this I know that they usually they they put stoppers but I guess the wind was so but I mean it was like 70 miles per hour winds but um, can you imagine being on this airplane and your plane just starts turning like it or thank God there was nobody coming through the uh, the terminal the walkway the jetway right oh wow that would have been horrible just to you know you step trying to step onto the plane and the plane just moves that that would to me i'd say nope i've had enough of this um nope not gonna fly today this is a sign i should not be flying today so okay so this next story folks oh my goodness okay so this um cop here <laughs> yeah well 
this is, uh, I say, where is this at? Let me see here where this is at. Yeah, San Diego, San Diego, California. So he's arresting this um, girl. I don't know if she's for whatever, but here we go. This is, <laughs> he locks himself in with female and, um, yeah. Okay, so. All right, sir, step out of the vehicle for me. So this is where they, they're coming to get him. And uh, this is him. Okay, so he's arresting um, the suspect. Okay, putting her in the back. Seat. Now, he, now, from what I understand, she is making advances, you know, like uh, uh, advances to him to do the, do the naughty, uh, you know, and uh, he's kind of just uh, paying it no attention. Or is he? Oh, I can't hear you now. Okay, so she's talk she's talking to him right now. And proposing uh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't say that right now. <laughs> so he's yeah, he's I said don't say that right now because uh, everything's being recorded right now. Yeah it is. Everything. Okay, so later he asks uh, what she's doing in the back seat, and then he turns off his body cam. Okay. So, 1.34 a.m., San Diego. About an hour later, the supervisor arrived and unlocked uh, uh, Officer Hare from the back seat. <laughs> He, the cop gets locked in his own car in the back seat. Um, you know, his excuse is, oh man, here's his cop. Uh, it's, this is crazy. What the? So, uh, Officer Hare says he went to the back seat because he thought the woman needed some help. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you think's working. So he's unlocking them. So that's how you unlock the cop car in the back seat. Okay, I didn't know that. Like that's going to help me? I don't ever find out. He, look at him, get him. He's like, oh, let's back this up. Look at this. Look at this. He jumped. He's like, he still got his light on. What the hell? He got his light on. Oh, oh boy. Bust. What the hell? Did you get busted? Oh, God. <laughs> he resigns after a moment. Oh, Okay, you know this is funny. Like you know it ain't it ain't funny. It, uh, if there will be any charges filed, no, it's not funny to him. Oh, you know it ain't. But. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me turn my camera off. She's code four. She's code four. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, she's okay. I got another video. Let me go back and see if I can figure it where it's at. This is. Um, I, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's hilarious. Okay, so this is the. Where he's, um, um, I guess, arresting her. Okay. Yeah, August 15th. Turn around my car right here, okay? So, last year. Last year. Conversation becomes well, I can't more hear you now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> down there. Oh, wow. <laughs> don't say that right now. Don't say that. Don't say that right now. I said don't say that right now because uh, everything's being recorded right now. Wow. What's going on? Christ. Body cam goes down. <laughs> So he cuts that body cam off, supposedly, right? Supposedly. Okay, and so, see, this is what I don't understand. See that this it records everything where this car is, where his car is. More than ten minutes later, off his car is. <laughs> oh man! Ten minutes later, he says, "Oh hell, I'm locked in the back seat." Oh, oh wow! 
stay there for over an hour to thirty in the middle of the office. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. You busted. You busted. You busted. What y'all doing back there? You're supposed to be taking her to the Popo office. The Pokey. Instead, something else might have been. He's like, you know. Oh, man. I, can you imagine trying to explain this? Knowing ain't nobody going to believe nothing. Except for what they know what went wrong. You might as well just. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me turn my camera off. <laughs> She's code four? She's code four. Okay, yeah. okay. She's code yeah. four, yeah. Everything's good. There we go. Okay, folks. Well, that is my uh, uh, picks for the day so far. Might be some more. You never know. Crazy breaking news every day. Crazy breaking stuff. Um, still held no news or any updates on Sebastian Rogers' case, on Summer Wells' case, um, Caleb Harris, none of them, the folks, these people that's missing, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy, wow, um, so, but if anything comes up, I'll let you, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely, uh, put a video up on it, so I want to thank you. For watching uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel if you would please do so it'll let you know that i've got another video coming up and um you all please be safe always like i said if you got a loved one hug them tell them you love them because you just never know folks you know that right okay folks you all stay safe out there until next time though this is george and we will see you down the road Bye bye